Hey, what's up, YouTube? You're watching Free Rants, and today we want to talk about the new Day, Day Rocks. Rocks. New, new Day, Day Rocks. Rocks. Not anymore. They're kind of boring. Yeah, I mean, okay. Here's the thing. Um, gimmicks. What's the average life expectancy of a gimmick? I know they vary, but in your opinion, I don't know, a couple years. And uh, how long have they had this gimmick for? About a couple years. Yeah. And how long have they had the tag team titles? couple years <laughs> and at first we don't like them boo but then they started to grow on me yay and i was like yay they're awesome and now i'm like well i don't hate them but i don't necessarily like them that much anymore either they're kind of like eh, they're all right because all of a sudden it's all about catchphrases and t-shirts and bootios and, and they're hilarious don't get me wrong but it's getting annoying. But it's getting to a point where, yeah, it's time to have a new tag team have those titles. When they've had so many other teams on the roster. Like, Enzo and Enzo, Big Cass. Exactly, Enzo and Big Cass, I was just about to say. The I'm, club. The club, I was just about to say. Um, And the thing is, is that they just faced uh, Sheamus and Cesaro, just a random tag team thrown together. That doesn't even make any sense. Yeah, it's been done before a heel face tag team, and it can work. It can be interesting. But, of course, it's a random tag team thrown together, and they're both great wrestlers, especially Cesaro, but everyone knew that they weren't going to win. I mean, it's just, uh, it was kind of a pointless matchup. Unless they actually end up working really good together as a team and actually start... They well, could. Going against real good teams, not the shining stars, it's like... But yeah, and I'm not necessarily necessarily saying that this is a bad thing by any means whatsoever, but there are so many tag teams right now, and um, I, I don't know if there's too many tag teams, but I can't really recall a time in recent memory where there's been so many tag teams, and um, I get it. The New Day, they face... They sell a lot of memorabilia, t-shirts, whatever. I'm sure they make a lot of money. I'm sure they make the WWE a lot of money. And if they continue to make the money, they're going to continue to have the titles. But the WWE could easily make money off Enzo and Big Cass, and I'm sure they do. But they could easily make more money off of them in the club and other teams. And I know I hate to look at it from a financial standpoint, but let's face it, it is a big business. And um, that's just one aspect to having another a new tag team being uh the title holders and um it just uh i don't know i'd like to see the club or enzo and big cast against them and win and what's the record for uh the tag team title holders it's like 400 plus days now. and what uh, what is new day at right now i'm not sure exactly they're probably i think they're I remember they were in Colorado a couple weeks ago, and they were at 420. Yeah. They really, uh, whoever, uh, oh, I'm buzzing. Whoever had the foresight for that, um, I, I got good to WWE credit sometimes, even though, uh, uh, for the most part, the writers are lazy and predictable, and they do the same stuff over and over again. In that aspect, they had the foresight for that. I guess that worked. But I think they're getting close to... Um, having the record as the tag team title holders, and the WWE likes to do that type of stuff, especially they're trying, they're, they're trying to beat Demolition's tag team title. And record. it was four sixty, it's four something. Okay, so they're, they 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 got to be getting close. Yeah. And the thing is, is that I don't see them having the New Day drop those titles until they break the record. I mean, look at this. Um, they had Nikki Bella. Uh, break the record and then uh, AJ Lee's record. Then shortly after she lost the title. Yeah, so I mean, shortly after they got rid of that title. Yeah, so I guess it doesn't matter now, but at the time it did. And so what I'm saying is, is that uh, the new day, it's pointless. Uh, I mean, I'm not saying it's 100% pointless, but whenever, uh, at least in the upcoming uh, pay per view events, you know that most likely the new days going to win just so that they could eventually break that record because 
the WWE likes to do that stuff. They like to have these wrestlers break records for the most part. And so, yes, they may be entertaining. Yes, they may be hilarious. Yes, the match may be good. That's the thing. It's getting stale. But yes, it's it's also losing its luster at the same time. And you get all these great teams, and it's like, oh, they can the club can beat them in Raw, but on pay per view they have to find a way to cheat and get disqualified to keep the titles. And it's like, you know, SummerSlam would have been the perfect time for them to lose them. But then, oh no, Big E comes back. And everything, and I was like, "Wow." Do you think they're slowly turning them heel? Heel, but face. Kind of like in between. They have, Tweeners. They get DQ'd all the time. It's like, why not have the match be no disqualification so that they have a chance to actually have the titles change hands? I would have given it to the club. It would have been perfect to give it to the club. The yeah. Top, the two top heels. It's like one minute the club's winning, the next minute they're losing. It's like. Come on, make up your mind, WWE. They're trying to make them be like this big monster tag team, but they're, you know, putting the New Day over and then all of a sudden Enzo and Cass are in the mix when Enzo and Cass should have won the titles at one time too. Imagine them on the mic, like we talked about this all the time, the back and forth, but then again, who's the heel, who's the face in that scenario? Well, I mean, uh, I think most likely what's going to happen is the New Day, they're going to hold the titles all the way to WrestleMania, but I don't know. On second thought, maybe not, because WrestleMania is, what, in March? April. So, I mean, we would have got five more months of them having the titles, and I don't see them... I was going to say, imagine this scenario. They have they hold the titles to WrestleMania, and they feud with Enzo and Big Cass, and Enzo and Big Cass win at WrestleMania. I mean, imagine how amazing that would be. But at the same time... In order for that to happen, they would have to have the titles for another five months, and that's just too long. It's been long enough. I want the New Day to break up. I want them to be like, here's a weak link of the group, and then all of a sudden they turn on him, and Big E turns heel or something. Turns on who? Xavier? Xavier or Kofi. Okay. Have a Kofi Kingston heel turn. So maybe something. That would be cool. So maybe WrestleMania, that's too far away for them to lose the titles, even though technically it is possible, but they'll probably... They'll lose the title sooner than that, probably sometime shortly after they break the record. Um, let us know your thoughts. Um, what do you think is going to happen? What do you want, want to see happen? What tag team do you want to see have the titles? What tag team do you think is deserving of the titles? Depends on cast, for are you, sure. Are you sick of New Day having the titles like we are? Let us know your thoughts. You're watching Ring Rants. Thanks for watching. And follow, follow us on social media. See ya. See ya.